Residents living on one local lake are on high alert as the water levels continue to rise, causing a number of issues to homeowners. Clayton Castle has that story. In a month's time, people will be out on the lakes ice fishing, but on White Sand Lake in Baxter, they're not looking towards that quite yet. Many people who live on the lake are facing a number of issues due to the rising water levels. Uh, with the high water rate, now we're looking at there's uh, numerous people that have had water in their basements. Um, there's probably would have been be a lot more if there wasn't for the uh, sump pumps that people are having run constantly. Despite above average rainfall this past month, residents believe that the main cause of the high water levels is something else. What we've been told is that there is a drainage ditch that's supposed to go to the Crowing River, or the Gull River, excuse me, and that actually is plugged. The rising water levels have already caused problems in many homes, including flooded basements. Residents are also concerned that property values may go down as a result. And if nothing gets done soon, the issue could escalate come spring. The fact that it's come up so high and uh, with the ice freezing, it's having the heave damage and, and then also with it, the ground freezing, we're going to have winter coming. And when the spring does thaw out, it's all going to go right on top and it's going to come up even higher. So, I mean, that's our main concerns is, you know, that, well, then also, you know, property values. <laughs> Heinlein says his family has lived on this lake for generations and that the issues are very concerning. I, my family's been on this lake since, you know, my great-grandparents had a place, and I've never seen it this high either in 40-some years. Reporting in Baxter, Clayton Castle, Lakeland News. Residents say that water levels have risen up to five feet in some areas in the past year. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.